welcome to Family Table. I'm Pastor Tim. And I'm Patty. On to egg 11, 11 today. 10 plus a fur. Yeah, plus a stone. Well, our <laughs> fancy egg has this stone in it. That's a cool stone. That is a really cool looking stone, but I have a feeling the stone that was used in our story today was a lot bigger I think and a was. lot heavier. So I let's think read so. about a stone. Okay, so yeah, the last egg we learned, right, that Joseph had, had placed Jesus in the, in, into his a tomb, tomb yep. right? So, well, the Pharisees, they uh, had a problem. They knew that Jesus had been preaching that he would be resurrected or raised from the dead so they wanted the tomb sealed to prevent his disciples from coming and taking him and just telling everybody that he rose mm -hmm. he said if that happens we'll be worse off than we were at the first they did not want that to happen so they rolled a big stone in front of the grave right big stone and then they also put guards by the tomb. So and that, sealed it. And sealed it so that nobody could take the body of Jesus. So, so we have these cute little rocks. Little stones. You probably can go out to your driveway or yard, somewhere, somewhere yard and find a little stone. Maybe you have a little rock collection and you want to use a special stone. You yep. can do that too. And we're going to put those in the eggs for today. And we're going to put stone equals sealed okay Ooh. to remember that jesus's body was sealed in that tube so nobody could mess with it yep. and that's going to make the miracle even better when we get to the next day oh i wonder what miracle you're talking about i don't know well i guess we'll have to wait till egg number 12 to find out so one egg left to go in our project and we will see you next egg to figure out what this miracle that miss patty is talking about is. i think that's my new phrase See you next egg. See you next egg. <laughs> Bye. Bye.